I am a co-founder of this institution. I have worked in the youth sector for many years. At the moment, I work at the BOB Youth Center, but also at Levada Lab, but only a little bit, because I don't have enough time, and I also do various educational non-formal activities. Being in the NGO sector, there's no money for I don't know what kind of workshops, there's no money for materials, so even before we set up the institute we had been working with a team that we still work with now, recycling and upcycling. From furniture, everything you see here with us, it's all upcycling, which means we get some old things, and then we refurbish them, or not. It's very important to us that things that are still useful don't end up in a landfill. Or at least we refurbish them or we remake them. As you see those two chairs, we make them attractive to the eye, comfortable and useful. I think that has been our attitude from the beginning. I felt that, and that's why I came to BOB, because it already had such an upcycling energy. You see that the chairs are different. The sofa is different from the armchairs, and the armchairs are different from the other armchairs. So yeah, it's very good. I'm learning within these workshops as well. I get so many even better ideas from other people than I offer, and I think it's such a unique opportunity to basically have young people give me ideas back or so. I'm quite proud sometimes, because as strict as I am with myself and with other people, and there's a level of perfectionism in making sure that it's put together nicely. But at the end of the day, I'm just thrilled to see that I had a good audience and they make the whole thing as fantastic as I don't know if I would have made it myself. Now in the future, when you are just asking, well, yes, there were these masks, I'm just making something useless now, just for aesthetic value, a little bit also for the soul now. My advice would be to listen to young people and to start from that and to guide them too. Show them how they can do it themselves. And so, with maybe some input, that also these certain skills, purely technical, purely. We can be the craftsmen, but sometimes we need someone to hear, to see, and then to create ourselves from things that are being used already.